Hey guys, Rick here. Thank you so much for watching my previous video. I want to go ahead and explain the uh, grading criteria that I came up for these uh, and explain the, the scale I came up with for my reviews here. Basically a 10 out of 10 point system, 10 categories. I believe each category is essential for club guests to have a great time. As a promoter and in my opinion, as a club goer myself for the last decade, I've noticed that these categories, one of them alone could ruin your whole experience for the so night. Basically a 10 out of 10 point system, 10, point, 10 out of 10 point scale. Each category is worth a full point. Full point of that club delivers in that half a point if they semi deliver and a zero if in my opinion, for whatever reason, they just don't cut it in that particular category. At the end, we add them all up and it'll be a 10 out of 10 or a five out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and explain these categories to you now here. Hopefully you guys agree. All right, so the first one I call club fairness. Did they hold the line? Make it look like it was packed only for you to walk into an empty room. Did they hold the line to not honor the free admission they promised by a certain time? Do they price gouge? Did they raise the price of admission only for you to walk into an empty room still sometimes? All that plays into the uh, club fairness category. Now the uh, second category will be actual club security. The uh, bouncers themselves. Were they friendly, nice, rude? Were they on a power trip? Were they extra on the dress code? Did the line say it was slid in there when it wasn't? The uh, third category is the actual club bar. Was the staff friendly? Were the drinks fairly priced? Are the cocktails consistent? Extra drinks, hookups, etc. All this is part of the club bar. This next category is going to be the club vibe and it's definitely a subjective one. Was the crowd more high energy? An EDM crowd? Were they jumping around? Are people friendly when passing through? Not pushing, saying excuse me? Are people dancing? Having a good time? Or are they just standing around? Are people vibing? Or are they enjoying themselves for the most part? The next category is going to be the club safety. Obviously, it's just my opinion, but was the club ghetto? Is the club known for fights? Are there pit pocket reports or any other property being stolen? Are there any reports of people being roofied here? Security should pat you down for safety, but do they pat you down here? Are you likely to be in a fight because somebody hit on your girl that you brought to the club? All these play into the club safety. The sixth category is going to be the music overall. Nowadays, most clubs and events in Los Angeles have a theme or genre they're going for. For example, if they promised a Latin night or a reggaeton night, did they deliver or did they play nothing but hip hop or other top 40 music? Vice versa, is your promised hip hop night being overshadowed by 90s music or is it overshadowed by reggaeton? Basically, do they deliver the music they promised for the event? Also, sometimes they do deliver the music they promised, but they don't play the hits that people want to hear. Seventh category is going to be the guest crowd attractiveness and it's obviously very opinionated, very subjective. Are there good looking ladies in there? Are there any good looking fellas? Obviously, this will be my opinion, but I will base it on accepted society norms. The next category will be the ratio. Basically how even the men to women ratio is at this club or event. We'll also explain here the demographics, the ethnicities, the age groups. The ninth category I call the networking possibilities, AKA hookup chances. This is obviously probably the most important aspect for men. No, I won't go based off my own personal experiences in this category, but also based on other friends and other acquaintances and their experiences. And I'll even base it on other observations I've made at that particular club. I will also try to explain it from a lady's perspective to the best of my ability. I will explain if they are likely to be over approached at that particular club or even be possibly harassed at that club. Obviously most women could pick up anywhere they choose to. Do you have your pick here? Better options? The tenth and final category is going to be the location. Is it in a good area? What other nightlife where you can move around to? Can you bar hop around there? Can you club hop around there? Are you stuck there? Is it safe to walk around outside after you leave? Is it in an area where it's fun to mingle outside after the club lets out? Can you potentially meet new people outside after the club? Although you shouldn't be drinking and driving. Are you likely to get a DUI here? Is there a heavy police presence? We'll also talk about the club interior here. You can see, guys, I put in a lot of thought to this scale. It's not just me throwing putting random numbers this out of is, my This is um, biased as I could be as neutral. A lot of thought has been put into it. Thank you guys so much for watching my previous videos. Hopefully, you guys stick around for the rest. And feel free to disagree with any review, obviously. Thank you so much. Thank you for following.